Hey guys, it's Pussycat Purse, PC Purse. And if you're new to my channel, I'm a pole dancer, a pole instructor, a pole competitor, and just overall pole enthusiast. And over here on my channel, we talk about all things pole related. So today we are on the final episode of P Valley. This is episode 10. So if you're into it, come on in. All right, so this episode starts with Haley in the room looking all just, I don't know. She goes through a range of emotions. First, she's looking a little bit smug, and then she's kind of looking like a little worried while Andre and his wife fight. And then he winds up asking Haley to give them some space and to leave so they could talk things out. And then we find out that Andre never told his wife about his father. He had been lying to her the entire time. And so... She winds up saying that she's still in love with him. And he's like, me or the person that I, I showed you? So their relationship, I mean, it seems like it's on a foundation of lies. He told her to go back to the guy that she was sleeping with, that that's the guy she should have been with anyway, and that he's in love with somebody else, Haley. And so that was a messy-ass argument. But right before Haley leaves, Corbin comes in and he's like, oh, Andre, you've been up all night. You're probably going to win. Just, you know, just not even read in the room. Just dashes in, delivers some news and leaves. He sees that the wife is there, that Haley is there. And he's just like, whatever. I just came in to spread the good word. I'm out. I just think they're both to blame for their marriage failing. So then we get to Little Murder. Oh, they shot Little Murder. So great this entire series. They had him in front of this mirror in... He's looking at himself and he split is like him and his reflection. And there's two of them. But then there's this other version of him. It's like all these little fractal pictures. And it was dope because it's like him, his paternal little murder, and then all the people he's been throughout his life, just his progress. So it's just cool. It's like he's a very much well-rounded person who's been through a lot, who's probably capable of a whole lot. And I thought that was just really really such a powerful image it looked like a painting oh, it was so good so then Lil murder goes out and he gets ready to perform his um his new song but when he looks out Maine is out in front like yeah i know it was you that got pico so then he has them stop the music and he does the beginning part of his song acapella just no music and then when they drop the beat mercedes comes out and she does a dance with him instead of Keyshawn. and it's dope it's good she like didn't do anything that she couldn't do she wasn't like out of breath she was doing a little bit of booty popping you know he said the way her butt moves is like everything she did some tricks it was a cool routine and then you know may wound up leaving but when he finished it he definitely gave him a warning, like, I, I kill people <laughs> and I'm not afraid to do it again. So then in the midst of this, we find out that Patrice won. Patrice won. <laughs> and it's so crazy. But then after that, Andre comes out and he lets the people know that even though he lost, the town didn't lose him and he's going to stay and open up a law practice. And his wife is just in the back like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're staying. So then back at the paint, Mercedes is running out. Finally, she got a bag. We've been waiting for her to get some money all season. She been broke all season. Not broke, but you know, she ain't been making no stacks all season. She got two double bags of money and she comes running out and then Uncle Clifford is crying. So I'm like, no, they killed grandma. But they didn't kill grandma. Grandma's good. I'm like, what's up for the old hoes? I don't know why that's what was in my head, but it was. But grandma's okay. So that was good and I was relieved because you know I love me some grandma. So then we see Lil Murder and Cliff in bed together and they're just talking about the the performance last night and Cliff is like, y'all need a sound check, y'all need a little dress rehearsal, but it, it was good, you did all right. Like what's up with the tour? So Lil Murder is like, I'm supposed to leave like later on today or tomorrow, I forgot which one he said. And so they're talking about how he'll probably be gone for a while. And Lil Murder's like, well, what if I could just live out loud? And I was saying that last week. I mean, like, I think I think he could do it now. I think it'd be acceptable. I think, it, I think he'd be fine. But Uncle Cliff is like, nah, 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 nah. I'm not trying to have that responsibility on my back. And he kind of hurts Lil Murder's feelings. Then we see Patrice at office and she's like trying out her new stuff. And she's kind of like a little bit clumsy, a little all over the place. So, I mean, it's kind of like her right now at the moment. Like, she's excited to be there. I don't know if she's exactly equipped for that position, but we'll find out. Then, 
we find out that Farah has sent Mercedes a giant photo of herself from her um, exhibit. And she sent her $30,000. She said that was royalties for using her image, which I approve of. Because remember last week, I was like, did she give her permission to just use these images for this? But she paid her the $30,000. I'm like, ah, you know my girl can get a school now. Yes. So I was excited for that. And um, she basically told me, say, see, I know you're not trying to see me anymore, but, you know, I'll be seeing you through your photos. Here's the money you're owed. It's not the money my husband was going to give you. He's still trash, but, you know, good luck with everything. So that was nice. I don't like Farrah's new haircut, though. I like her better with the other hair. It looks good on her. I just, I like the longer hair a lot better. So then all the women <laughs> in town lined up bringing Andre food because he did not win and, you know, letting them know that they are available to help him feel better or to bring him anything that he may need, you know. I'm like, don't these women know he's a married man? But I guess they don't care. And then Haley shows up with cigars, which, you know, is super fitting because she's pregnant anyway and telling him congratulations and I'm about to go get my money. I just, you know... I did it big. I see you when I see you. <laughs> but then when she goes to call Georgia, like, yeah, what's up with my money? I want 15 million now instead of the 10. Georgia's like, listen, it just has to be on water. And I found some other water, so I'm not giving you anything. Hangs up water. So now Haley's out of all the money. Had she taken the $5 million, she would have been good. But she was holding out, and now she lost. She played, she played high stakes. She lost big. But, ooh, had she come up, that would have been a good one. Mm -mm -mm. I almost felt bad for her. Almost. And then we see Corbin sitting with his brother and they are going to build some type of pathway where the water is going through his <laughs> home or through his property. And they're calling it um, the Corbin Kyle Canal. And he's sitting there with his brother screaming like a victory scream because he won. And they just show like the plantation <laughs> that they're on. Crazy. So then grandma comes home. First thing she says is, smell like bussy in here. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God, come through with the one line is grandma. And Uncle Cliff is like. So then the doorbell rings and it's Big L, Duffy, and Uganda. And Uncle Cliff is like, what are y'all doing here? Especially you, Big L. Like, didn't I fire you last week? And he's like, grandma called me for her party. <laughs> And he's like, her party. Grandma's like, I'm having a welcome back party. I'm back. Mind you, she's still coughing up a lung, still like not all that well. And she's around people. She's like, I got the antibodies. I can't catch it again. I'm good. We having a party. So what can Uncle Clifford do except let, let them in, set up for her party. And then Clifford winds up seeing his mom and telling him, um, and she tells him that, you know, the grandmother's like, right, she needs to go live her life, she's fine. And that what he said to Lil Murder wasn't the nicest thing, that he shouldn't just like separate himself away from the opportunity of love, that he should go for it. So then Lil Murder meets with Keyshawn and they say their goodbyes because she's leaving on the sneak tip and she lets him know, you know, I'm not gonna tell you a secret. He gives her some money that he owes her and they hug. And you know, it's a nice big brother, little sister kind of moment of, Big sister, little brother, however you want to look at it. I don't know. But it's a nice little hug moment between them. And I'm like, this ain't going to go right. Because she should have left yesterday. She should have. She didn't, like, after she got off her last set, she should have left after the kids and dip. And I'm just, what is about to happen? But then we get to Mercedes. And she's in her studio. And she's putting up her photos. And then, you know, remember when she was like, it art from season one to her mother when her mother was telling her about pole dancing being the sin, her being a stripper being a sin. She told her that it was art. So she had the photo that Farrah sent her underneath the sign that said it art. And then she had a bunch of like her headlining posters around in the art, in the stage. And instead of a girl's studio, she's turning it into a pole studio, which is dope. And then she does um, the routine or part of the routine that she did a little murder. So that is not our tutorial, but our show and tell today. So I'm gonna show you Mercedes' routine.
I did what I could in Mercedes routine. Had they made it for me, they wouldn't have put no iron X in there because I can't hold an iron X yet. But um, yeah, I tried to do it. It's close to what she gave you guys. There's a lot of cuts in the routine in the show. So I tried to do it as one long piece, but I still had to chop it up a little bit for you guys. But yeah, I hope you like that. So let's move on. And right at the end of Mercedes routine, her mom walks in and her mom is like, what, what is this? Like, and Mercedes tells her that it's a studio for <laughs> old hoes like her to get this stuff together. <laughs> Cause she saw her dropping it like it was hot. But you can tell that her mom is impressed with the studio and she likes the photos that's up. She even commented on the one of Mercedes. And then Mercedes kind of compliments her and you know, what she call her? Past the mayor? Mayor past the, something like that. I forgot what she calls her. But it's something to her two titles. And she lets her know that, you know, she can wear two crowns. Have you seen how many wigs she had? I was like, I know that's right. I know that's right, mama. And she lets her know that um, Tarika's mom called the hotline for help and said that she's going to get help and asked Patrice to watch Tarika for her while she's getting help. But she tells her that, you know, it might be too much for her. And basically that, here's your baby. I'm giving you back your baby. She's all yours. I got other things to do, like having mommy daughter time. So then she's walking out and Tarika's walking in and Mercedes hugs her and it's such a nice moment for Mercedes. She's got her school, she's got her baby back. Like, it's so sweet. So then, whoo, Uncle Clifford finally gets some revenge. So he's looking at all at old photos and then Haley comes in and she's all pissed. And then Uncle Clifford basically gives her a check for $250,000, what she paid for the paint, told her they settled the score <laughs> and tells her to get out like she's trifling she could have had a family and she needs it which is especially true now that we know she's pregnant and don't have any family with twins at that probably but um that they're not gonna be there for her anymore that this is what she gets get out that's what she paid for it. and she's mad because she knows that uncle clifford had a hand in corbin tricking them and like coming up off of this deal and them losing all that money and she's like yo we could have split this money why would you do that and Cliff is telling her, you know, the paint means more to me than just money. So she's still insisting that she should get more money than that. But Big L and um, Diamond come and scare her like, we will kill you, sis. Take the money, take the check and go. So she gets out of there and Uncle Clifford is like, yeah, you know, just because I'm sweet don't mean I won't go to war. I'm like, I felt that in my spirit. So then Keyshawn goes to pick up her kids and surprise, surprise. The plan is messed up. The sister said, is standing in the back like, I'm sorry. Just written all over her face. And the mom is like, her stepmother is like, oh, yeah, I called Derek because I hadn't seen the kids in so long. Just messed up her whole thing. So now Derek knew that she's basically trying to run. And Keyshawn's face is like, what? I don't know. Keyshawn just needed a better plan because anything dealing with her stepmom, considering they have a bad relationship, she should have known something might not go right with that. Well, that plan is messed up. Now she's got to head home and face Derek. And she doesn't know what she's going to walk into now. And then we see Andre at the prison and he's going to go visit his dad. So then Keyshawn goes home as Derek is there with the kids and he's holding the baby. And then we see the CPS is in the house. And basically he, he got it finagled somehow. So the CPS would come there and she's under suspicion. And they tell her that she can't leave for at least six months while the home is under investigation and because of the bruises on the kid. And she just loses it and attacks Derek. And then the cops have to hold her down. And so now she looks like the bad parent or she's the one that's in trouble. And she's just screaming like, Derek, you did this. And I'm Keyshawn, Keyshawn, Keyshawn. We knew something was gonna happen. But you know, if you look online, people were thinking it was gonna be a type of, what was it? But colored girls moment with the kids. So at least it wasn't that. Hopefully Keyshawn would play this moment right and then just be able to get her kids back in the end. But there's more to that. So then Mercedes comes home with Tarika and she's in a yellow car, just like Maine is in yellow and Maine is across the street. And so Mercedes is like, all right, let me introduce Tarika to Maine. So she introduces them and Tarika is like, <laughs> googly eye. And she has to send her back and saw like, didn't we just get you out of trouble? Get you a little fast behind back in the house. But then May lets her know, like, yo, what's up with you being on stage with a little murder? Like, you choosing sizes, now what's up? So she knows 
it's a problem. And then he makes this insulting remark and she thinks that he's talking about Uncle Clifford and he's like, nah, that's not who I'm talking about. Letting her know that he's talking about Little Murder. So we know that Little Murder Secret is out anyway. So then we are at Grandma's party and it's a juke joint theme and it's outside of the house and everybody is having a good time. And then Lil Murda shows up and Pretty Round Eyes is playing and he starts dancing with, I think it was grandma at that point. Then Mercedes shows up with Tarika. Uncle Cliff is like, you brought this baby to the, to the <laughs> club? And Mercedes is like, it's not a club. And Tarika's dressed up like a sweet young lady. And Mercedes is dressed up like a nice young lady. Like everybody looks very cute for this party. And then they just start gossiping and talking about how they got rid of Haley. And, um, you know, it's just nice. That, Cause you know to see Mercedes and Uncle Clifford together, cause you know they're good friends. So it's just nice to see them just talking and catching up and having some gossip. Then we see Keyshawn and she's locked up, <laughs> and she calls Diamond. Finally calls Diamond. Diamond is with Big Bone at the time, but he gets the call, excuses himself, walks out. Rude. And he takes the call. She's like, "Can you handle it?" And he's like, "So you know we about to take care of it for his, but we about to." Put in some work for his girl. Woo! All right. So then Uncle Clifford and Mercedes are talking. And they're talking about the pink and what's going to happen. And Mercedes lets him know, like, that was my last dance. And that's how she should have done it before. No big announcements. This, that, and the third. She's just been, I'm going to dance and then dip. And so he's sad, but it's like, nobody's ever going to replace me. It's fine. Like, things change. It's all right. It's going to be good. So then Uncle Clifford's friend, who's the house mom now, stops Roulette and lets her know, you know, oh, it's sad that Toy got fired. And she lets her know, oh, it's okay. She's good. And she said, yeah, I heard. Basically letting her know, like, I know she's working for you. And she tells her that she wants to be down and part of her stable. <laughs> like She's like, I got a little something different going on. And the guys like me, too. I heard you taking care of people. What's up? I'm trying to make some money with y'all. Cliff don't have to know everything. So Roulette looks her up and down. She's like... So, join the team. So, woo, it's about to be some extra, extra stuff going on at the pink. So then at the party, Murder pulls Cliff to the side and tells him that, you know, he kind of, he doesn't want to go on tour, that he wants to stay. So they're having a back and forth about Cliff not wanting to be responsible for Lil Murder giving up on his dreams and not trying and him holding himself back. And Lil Murder is telling him that's not how I feel and he just wants to just living his truth and then he tells him about how he met Teak, their whole story and that you know Teak took his life um that night that he came to his house he tells him everything and cliff is still kind of not wanting him to give everything up for him because that's how he's seeing it but murder is telling him just laying everything out on the table then we find out that Haley took $25,000 from Cliff's bank account. They can't get it back. And we see her in an all white outfit, a duffel bag and like a plastic bag, leaving town, disappearing into the night, tapping her belly like she got her money. She got a commission off top because of all the work that she did. She said she was, you know, deserving of some more money. She's disappearing into the night. So that's it for her. And then um, at the party, Lil Murder dances with Cliff and kisses him out in public. Like, I'm not hiding us this anymore. Like, it is what it is. So Cliff is just like, just kind of submits to it. And it's nice. And then in the very end, we see Diamond getting ready to <laughs> put in some work. So he's getting his tools ready, the trunk of his car. And then somebody comes up and shakes him. I'm like, oh, it's a girl. No, it's Big Bone. And then he gets two teams. Wait, then he gets tag team and they beat my man up. They throw him in the trunk and then we see the girl is Big Bone. And then it's the other dude. She's part of a rival gang and they kidnap him. They knock on kill him right away. They said that'd be too easy. And then the show went off. So it's crazy because we know we haven't heard anything about there being a season three yet. And honestly, the way the show went off, it's like, if they did end it here, we can kind of gather like, all right, this is probably what happened with these characters. Um, but also like if they pick it up again, it's also like, oh, what's that to happen with these characters? So I hope there's a season three. I really, really love the show. I really love seeing pole dancing on television. I like that it had a story. It didn't show the dancers all in just one way. Um, I really, really enjoyed this show. So, um, 
Let me know what you guys thought of it. I'm going to keep bringing you some more stuff with pole dance and we'll keep talking about it. Keep looking at my tutorials and more product reviews and stuff like that to come. I hope you guys have been having a good time and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.